Have you ever taken the time to look at the world around you and notice its natural beauty? Philippines is blessed with beautiful landscapes. This attracts the tourists to visit our country. Mayon Volcano and Taal Volcano become popular with their notable features. But, have you ever wondered how the two emerge? What triggers its eruption? Philippines is one of the countries located along the Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire refers to the region around the Pacific Ocean that are commonly hit by earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Every now and then, a strong earthquake hits the Philippines, leading to numerous deaths and widespread destruction. No one can stop earthquakes from happening, but there are things that people can do to avoid or reduce loss of life and damage to property. The first step is to have a clear understanding of the occurrence of earthquakes. What is earthquake? Earthquake is the vibration of the earth due to the rapid release of energy. Earthquakes are also associated with faults. When a fault is suddenly moves, an earthquake occurs. So what is this fault? A fault is a fracture or zone of fractures between two blocks of rocks. Fault is the thin zone of crushed rock separating blocks of Earth's crust. These faults allows the blocks to move relative to each other. This movement may occur rapidly in the form of an earthquake or may occur slowly in the form of creep. Faults may range in lengths from a few millimeters to thousands of kilometers. Most faults produce repeated displacements over a geologic time. Many forces shape landforms. You can observe the effects of bending of rocks along faults that shape the Sierra Madre, the longest mountain range in the Philippines, through its features. On the other hand, the beauty behind those sceneries underwent to greater stress before it reached their amazing structures. When we say stress, this is the force applied to an object. Forces come from above and below the Earth's crust. Tension, compression, and shear are the stress that cause deformation and cracks to a rock. Compression squeezes rocks together, meaning compressional forces push the rocks together. On the other hand, tension makes the rocks pull apart, which moves the crust vertically apart. Shear is a type of stress that happens when forces are parallel but moving in an opposite direction. By the way, this is a fault model. Fault blocks represent blocks of the Earth's crust. Each color represents a layer of the Earth, while the diagonal line represents faults in the Earth's crust. When the crust is being pulled apart caused by tension stress, normal fault occurs in which the hanging wall moves down with respect to the foot wall. The foot wall is an underlying block of a fault having an inclined fault plane. Hint for identification. If a person were able to stand on a fault plane, their feet would be on the foot wall. What is hanging wall? When we say hanging wall, this is the overlying block of a fault having an inclined fault plane. In hanging wall, if a person were able to stand on a fault plane, they could hang onto the hanging wall. In normal fault, fracture along which the foot wall moves up and the hanging wall on the other side moves down. This is formed due to tension forces or the pulling apart of the rocks which moves the crust vertically apart. Reverse fault or thrust fault. It takes place in which the hanging wall block moves up and the foot wall moves down. 
This is formed due to the strong compressional forces which push the rocks together, moving the crust vertically apart. A strike slip fault or lateral fault happens when fault on which the two blocks slide past one another. Therefore, in order for a crack in the ground to be a fault, one side or the other has to move, but sometimes both sides move too. This diagram shows us the different parts of an earthquake. We have fault. This is a region on Earth's surface that is split into two pieces. Focus is the place where the first break happens. It is where the fault starts to slip and where the first movement takes place. It is the starting point of the earthquake. The epicenter is the spot directly above the focus on the surface of the Earth. How is strong is the earthquake? An earthquake may describe in two ways, intensity and magnitude. The intensity of an earthquake gives us an idea of how strong or weak the shaking is. The intensity of an earthquake is determined by observing the effects of the earthquake in different places. Houses, buildings, and other structures are inspected. People are interviewed about what they saw, how they felt, or what they did. Intensity is expressed using Roman numerals. Another way of describing the strength of an earthquake is by magnitude. The release energy can be calculated by scientists and is called the magnitude of the earthquake. The magnitude is expressed using Hindu-Arabic numerals. FIVOX or the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology is a service institute of DOST that is principally mandated to mitigate disasters that arise from volcanic eruption, earthquakes, tsunami, and other related geotectonic phenomena. Seismograph is a device that can detect and record seismic waves. The record of an earthquake on a seismograph is called seismogram. What to do during earthquake? Wherever you are, when an earthquake starts, take cover immediately. Move a few steps to a nearby safe place if needed. Stay there until the shaking is stopped. Drop under heavy furniture such as table, bed, or any solid furniture. Cover your head and torso to prevent being hit by falling objects. Hold onto the object that you are under so that you remain covered.